bullish crypto news, Dogecoin, fundamental and technical analysis, and my projections for the market for the upcoming weeks and also months will be covered in today's video. And in my previous video, I got some wonderful and supportive comments about my beard, but I think I've sorted that one out. Anyway, my name is Tom. This is Crypto Busy. If you're new to the Crypto Busy channel, come on, subscribe today and join the Crypto Busy family. Also, a like on this video is very much appreciated. So with that all being said, let's jump straight into the video. Okay, so going through the market. Now, a lot of things do stick out for me, and I'm going to break this down in this video. So the first thing that pops out for me is the Bitcoin dominance. It's 52.1%. So that Bitcoin dominance, if we compare it to, you know, just early this year to where it is right now, early this year, it was oscillating between 60 and 65%. So most of the capital that you see here, there's 2.1, nearly $2.2 trillion dollars. And, and do think about that. Take a step back from that as well and, and have a think about how much money and how much capital is in the market. This is an immense eye-watering amount of capital that is in the market. And back in January of this year, it was a bit different back then, but 65 to 60% 60 of that capital was in Bitcoin. And that Bitcoin dominance is crashing. So it's crashed below 60%. And I've been saying this for months now, that once the Bitcoin dominance does crash below 60%, we'll see that capital flow from Bitcoin into the altcoins and you'll see something quite spectacular. Now, I'm feeling a bit on, on a down day at the moment and I'll break down that in further detail later on in today's video. But you can see here, for example, Dogecoin. And I'll talk about that as well because we can't just have a video about this and not talk about Dogecoin because absolutely insane stuff is happening for it. It is up 200%. Think about that, 200% in the last 24 hours. So it's 40, nearly 40 cent of a dollar. Uh, so it was, barely a fraction of a cent just a few months ago and now there's 40 cents of a dollar and that's one of the reasons that i mean it's also a meme as well it's a big meme coin it's also propped up by uh elon musk a big fan of dogecoin but again it, you know you wouldn't be able to have these sort of movements and momentums if we didn't have that bitcoin dominance go below 60 percent so in my opinion if and i and it might happen it could happen i think it very much can happen as well in this market if the bitcoin dominance does does go below 50%, then we're going to be seeing some immense capital flow from Bitcoin into the altcoins and we'll be seeing new all-time highs. We're talking new, new all-time highs and, and, and astronomical gains and face-melting gains. This is the thing I've been talking about. None of this is financial advice, but again, face-melting gains. And I think certainly in this market that we're seeing this right now, um, because it, it is absolutely insane stuff. And if you look at the market cap as well of Bitcoin, it's $1.1 trillion. But if you look at, let's say, the market cap of uh, Quantum, or maybe see a coin or you know just any other coin that's in the top 100 1.5 nearly 1.6 billion dollars if some of the capital fl uh, flowed into the you know into the cryptocurrency then we're seeing new all-time highs for that so we have to take everything into account here as well now in the past 24 hours uh, turkey has banned uh, crypto payments and i've been talking about this uh, previously uh, before about the turkish lira it's had a bit of a, a rough start because you can see here the turkish lira just sort of crashed um, during the middle of the night, pretty much. And you can see here, it went from 415,000 uh, Turkish Lira to buy one Bitcoin to, in the space of half an hour, pretty much, 485,000. So a 70,000 Turkish Lira difference. And that was because of the Turkish Lira crashing. And many people in Turkey flooded to get into getting into Bitcoin because it is a hedge against inflation, which is the Turkish Lira has experienced recently. And so you know, Bitcoin has been taking a hit because of the Turkish ban. And again, like always, this always happens to be the case. A country bans Bitcoin or bans crypto payments. There is sort of a knee-jerk reaction in Bitcoin and the markets with Bitcoin, Ethereum, and many others as well. And then a few days later, we're back on track to normal levels. So I think this is a short-term thing in terms of you know a country banning Bitcoin, and that's a bad thing. And then a few bit days later, it's all okay. We may be seeing this may affect sort of a short-term bear market, but we just have to see more of that, more confirmations as we go through. Also, be sure to follow us on Twitter at CryptoBusy. It's a great crypto community on there, so we'd love to see you over there as well. So follow us on. Twitter and also join our Telegram group chat um, with 16,500 members actively and passionately discussing cryptocurrency. So let's go back to Dogecoin. Dogecoin, in my opinion, is the epitome of what of what crypto can be about. And it is combining a meme with new technology and the people that are behind the momentum of crypto. You know, it's not your usual uh, traditional, uh, you know, uh, bank accountant or your, you know, whoever you like to call it or, you know, hedge fund manager, you know, sort of institutional, you know, uh, back in, you know, stuck in the past type of person. 
Dogecoin and crypto is someone that's looking towards the future, looking into the fourth industrial revolution, looking what's wrong with the traditional financial setup and thinking, well, this is wrong. This can be fixed. And if we fix this issue, then we're going to solve a lot of issues here as well. That's what crypto can do. And, you know, the many people that look towards this, the futurists and everything have sort of a, an interesting sense about them. I like to think, I like to believe. Um, some people call them weird. Some people call them whatever, like, all the names under the sun. But it's new, it's different, it's alternative. And I think Dogecoin is the epitome of that with sort of having that alternative feel. You know, like Elon Musk, he's a, an alternative person, but you need to have these type of people in life to create things of launching, you know, your own car into space and going to Mars and all that sort of, you know, crazy stuff that you see uh, in the world. And so Dogecoin is a part of that. Crypto is a part of that. And if you're in the crypto community, then I think that's also part of that as well. That's another point I want to make there as well. So you can see here, Dogecoin hitting 43 cent. 43 cent uh, you know this this was part of dreams uh pretty much six months ago and now we're talking now we're talking oh dogecoin can, can go to one dollar it's possible it could with the market cap of what 50 billion dollars we just double that pretty much we're, we're nearly to one dollar so it's possible it is possible that dogecoin could go to one dollar in my opinion which is i i never thought i'd actually be saying this but I think we're actually getting there. Bitcoin and Ethereum are being left in the dust by Dogecoin as the meme coin price suddenly rockets. Is $1 possible? Well, you've heard it here from, from, from me, folks. Uh, yeah, no, I, I really do think it's possible at this point. Now, this is not saying go into Dogecoin because it is a meme coin. I would say probably wait for a correction. And, and the technical analysis isn't really that, you know, you're not going to get much out of it because <laughs> look at that chart. Look at the chart where it went from, you know, uh, May of last year November of last year and then it just it's just a hockey this is just a hockey stick this is just a hockey stick so um if if this crashes a lot of people are going to lose a lot of money that's all I'm saying but uh, do comment down below all of your thoughts and opinions about it and also when you see yeah, do comment down below all your thoughts and opinions about a dogecoin I'd love to know what you guys have to say about that but when you see mainstream articles and I'm not putting my tin hat fall on um or tin fall hat on um, when you see mainstream articles uh, about Dogecoin, about crypto, you know it's getting a little bit off there. And the same thing as well. I think even Google Trends aren't really able to register what's happening with Dogecoin right now. So if we look at this in a few days' time, this could be probably maybe 50%, maybe 25% interest compared to the 100% interest that we're getting right now for Dogecoin. So again, it's a fun time in the market. That is that is for sure. And we're in an interesting point in this crypto market as well. So my projections where the market will be going I think there'll be corrections along the way. So let's go into some Ethereum analysis and I'll, I'll be talking about my predictions and my projections for this because Ethereum is the, the king of the altcoins at the end of the day. And so like we're seeing right now, uh, Ethereum recently hit $2,500 and that's great. You want to see that. That's amazing for the altcoin markets. Now there will be corrections along the way, but the fact that it's closed above and it closed above $2,500 is a great sign for Ethereum's price and my confidence in Ethereum for the next few weeks, months, and by the end of this year as well. So these are impo important things that are you know, sort of bringing out to me in this in the technical analysis when we get behind Ethereum and my projections for the market. So I think, again, as the, there'll be corrections along the way and we're seeing that right now, there's a bit of a correction, especially also with uh, Bitcoin as well. You can see here, uh, it went from about $63,000, $64,000 and it's crashed to about sort of $60,000. So you can see there, a bit of a correction there as well and also recovery in price. So it's good to see that. So it's good to see the corrections and you have to have, and I keep on saying this, and Josh keeps on saying this as well, you have to have the level mindset when it comes to crypto investing because you will see days where cryptocurrencies are up 100%, nearly 200% in one day and up 500% in one week. And you'll see that and that is fun. And you'll be looking at all the new things that you can buy. But at the same time, you also be have to realize and come to the terms of the fact that that can happen in the opposite direction. You can have days where a coin can go down 100%. 200% and on the weekly as well go down 500% so you have to have that mindset as well that things can go down as well as up comment down below all your thoughts and opinions let's go further into what Ethereum is doing on the technical analysis side of things so it's had this really good breakout above $2,000 it was happening for a few days it hit 2040 uh, back in February and there's a bit of a correction and we were talking about well there's a bit of a trend line here a very strong trend line you can see here in yellow and it corrected onto that trend line it tested the trend line again and then from there formed a new trend line which you can see here right now and maybe we might see a correction to this trend line so maybe a 2270 maybe 2300 that sort of area uh, for where Ethereum could correct to but the fact that Ethereum closed above 
$2,500 is really good in my eyes. So we could be seeing go to $3,000 and I think even $10,000 in this bull cycle if we see a crazy, crazy bull cycle and a crazy alt season, I think that is feasible in my opinion. So it could be correcting towards this trend line first and if it doesn't, then maybe the 20 EMA. Um, if it corrects, maybe the next thing I'd look into uh, would be this yellow trend line as well. But I wouldn't see it correcting to the 100 EMA anytime soon because again, of the momentum that we're seeing in the market. Now, if you wanna get a much stronger opinion of what's happening in the market, and get some further analysis into the market, fundamental and technical analysis, and webinars every two weeks, and an extra webinar if you're in the VIP coin calls gold. Don't forget to join and check out our Crypto Busy VIP coin calls. Uh, so it's all linked down in the description below. It's all on Discord, it's through Patreon on Discord, so make sure that you have Discord, and it's a great interactive and fun community on there, so we'd love to know over there as well. So that is our Crypto Busy VIP coin calls. So let's have a look at where alt season is at the moment. So this is an alt season index. Now you don't have to take this, you know, as gospel or you know, take it just take it with a pinch of salt and, and sort of use it in your analysis as well and within your analysis because there are times when it is said as an alt season, and in my opinion, I don't think it really is an alt season. There have been times when it's saying it's Bitcoin season and vice versa. Um, but in my opinion, yes, I do think we are certainly in some form of alt season. And I don't think we're at the top of the alt season just as of yet, because as I keep on saying, I don't think we're in the euphoria stage. I think Dogecoin right now. Now, certainly in the oh, Dogecoin is certainly in the euphoria stage because it is currently number five. And I, I just registered that actually. I just it just it just <laughs> it just registered. I just registered that that Dogecoin is then in, in, is now in a top ten and a top five cryptocurrency, which is absolutely insane. But anyway, uh, let's go back to it. I, it's I, I can't believe it. I really can't believe it, guys. Do comment down below all of your thoughts and opinions about this. Um, so I do think we are in a bit of an alt season, but I don't think we are at the end or at the top of an alt season as of yet because of those face mounting gains as I keep on talking about. Dogecoin is currently in that, uh, but the rest of the cryptocurrencies uh, like Ethereum, like XRP, even though XRP has had a, a good run recently, and like Polkadot as well, all of these top cryptocurrencies that we love talking about at Crypto Busy, um, you know, they haven't had those face melting gains. And I do think that is still there and is still on the table uh, for this bull cycle that we're in right now. Also, be sure to check out Odds, Odds Finance. It is a great crypto project. And, uh, you know, again, they're doing a lot of good things behind the scenes there as well. They're also proud to announce the latest launch of their Odds Easy Options. So introducing Easy Options, no dependency of Option Writer, weekly, daily, and monthly option strategies, recommendations, and easy to understand user interface. And that is a big thing in my book as well is, is it easy to use? Can anybody use it as well? So that's a big thing there. So make sure to check out Odds all of their information is linked down in the description below. It's an undervalued gem in my opinion, and I do think they have a lot of good stuff. They have a lot more good stuff happening in the upcoming weeks and also months. So make sure that you stay tuned and what's happening with Odds Finance there as well. So let's have a bit of a recap. We've had Dogecoin go to the top five. We've had uh, Turkey ban crypto payments and also more Dogecoin there as well. My projections for the crypto markets will, again, there'll be corrections along the way. The momentum still is the same. We're seeing that sort of, you know, bullish momentum. And I, you know, I can't really say that, you know, the bull market's going to end on this particular uh, day, on this particular month. But I do think for the, for the next few weeks, we could be seeing corrections. That is something you have to take into account. And also a bullish momentum coupled with that as well. So the shorter the correction, the better. And I do think the corrections that we do get are getting shorter, which is great. And in my opinion, the, the momentum is still the same. And when I talk about that, have a look at the daily time frame and see where things are going. Identify the trend lines and see where, well, could this, you know, could this cryptocurrency correct onto this trend line and take it from there as well. So I'll leave it there with those thoughts. Do comment down below all of your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. I'd love to know what I have to say and I will be responding to some comments down below as well. Also, be sure to give this video a like. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to the CryptoVC channel. So that's it for me in today's video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.